It's been called the most inspiring vehicle ever made, boasting a five-star safety rating and named as a top safety pick. It's also done more to help our environment than any other car in the world. It's Toyota's Prius. Now, with your choice of the regular model, the larger Prius V, or the smaller Prius C, saving fuel, reducing harmful CO2 emissions, and offered to you with excellent savings. Toyota's Prius family. Drive one today at any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers. Toyota. Let's go places. Hi, everybody. How are we doing on this Friday evening? Meteorologist Don Morello with you here on iFiber Channel 1 News Weather. And, of course, our forecast is brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. As far as the weather goes this weekend, the winds of today will continue through tomorrow. And it might be a little chilly start tomorrow morning with temperatures possibly near freezing in some areas. So a little chilly start, but then... The rest of the weekend, Sunday looks nice. Monday, increasing clouds, showers, a little unsettled late in the day, if not by Tuesday. Another chance of showers, possibly by Thursday. But after Tuesday, a little unsettled weather, we see nice temperatures still, but just a little cooler back into the lower 60s instead of the upper 60s and near 70. But still not too bad. You can see how we did today, right around that normal mark of 63 and 38. Actually, just one degree off with the high, 62 degrees. Now, this precipitation was before midnight last night. I just wanted to give you an update of how much precipitation we ended up with yesterday. I had nothing today, of course. It was just a windy day across the area. And down in Moses Lake, 64 and 40, the extremes. And again, yesterday's total up to midnight was 5 hundredths of an inch. Here we go now, looking outside. 61 degrees, a beautiful evening shaping on up. The winds, though, still strong. I want to point out this dew point way down there, 17 degrees. So we are looking at some of the areas to fall down to near freezing. And, of course, the growing season's already started, so uh, be prepared for that little slap in your face as you wake up and get out the door tomorrow morning with a little chill in the air. Let's take a look at the forecast with clouds and precipitation. We'll have a system coming in towards the coastal sections during the day on Saturday. Most of the moisture staying west of the Cascades. We'll see some cloud cover coming across overnight. Maybe a sprinkle northern sections tomorrow night into Sunday morning, but that's very, very slim chance. Much of the day Sunday also looking very good for your Easter holiday plans. If you have some plans getting out there and looking for a nice day, and then we see this moisture here. That's what I'm anticipating Monday night, Tuesday morning for a little moisture coming our way. In the meantime, let's take a look at the state forecast. As I mentioned, west of the Cascades, unsettled. Clouds and moisture coming on in with a cool mid-50s. Of course, the rain and winds make it feel that much cooler. Inland northwest, look at that, mid to upper 60s. Very, very nice. And zooming in here, the Columbia Basin, we are looking absolutely gorgeous as well. The only problem, the winds will remain gusty once again. 20, 30 miles an hour, maybe a little higher. Overnight Saturday, Sunday, still a little breezy, but as we slide into Sunday, winds should tend to decrease. Sunday, very nice on Easter. Overnight showers Monday into Tuesday. You see a little dip in the thermometer midweek next week, but all in all, not too bad. So hope you enjoy your holiday weekend, everybody. Keep it here. Sports is next.